So I recently just did a video with um, Enscape using Enscape and Revit, and uh, someone was someone was curious to know how do you create grass in Revit um, and get that texture um, like you get in Enscape 2.7. So let me I'll show you guys here. Alright, so let's go ahead and just open up Enscape. And this is a previous project I, I've worked on. And um, if you've been a sub to the channel, you've seen me work on this before using Theorender. And I used a lot of Theorender, but these days I'm using a lot of uh, Enscape for work and uh, for, you know, outside of work also. So let's just go ahead and open up a... Uh... Actually, we're just going to go ahead and take a view... Let me just, just go ahead and throw this view there. All right, we're going to use that. And let's open that view, that view up in Enscape. And it should be view four, I believe. All right, let's start that. I will have to say, uh, starting off this channel, I did use a lot of Thea Render. But um, I have become a huge fan of Enscape. A huge fan, especially because I work so much in Revit. It just works out very well. And I be also believe you can um, get Enscape in SketchUp, but I love using it within Revit. But let me show you guys how to create that texture and that grass texture. So right now I just have a regular, I don't know, some type of gravel, dirt. All right, let's go ahead and... Minimize that a little bit. So we have some topography here, right? Um, so we're gonna create the material. So what I do, is, you know, I'll just go to manage materials and I'll create a material here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rename this and call it Grass New. All right. Now in appearance, or actually in uh, graphics, I'm gonna go ahead, so for my foreground, um, I'm gonna pick a pattern. And I wanna pick the sand pattern, okay? Um, and let's just go ahead and make this green. So that green is fine. And we're going to just do this for all of them. Green. Green. All right. So go here. So I'll just Google grass texture. Um, or if you have a website that you go to, feel free to go there. And you can just pick a grass texture. And I think this is the one I picked, but you can pick any one, okay? Any grass texture you want. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click in this image and on my desktop, I have it saved as grass here. So we'll just bring that in there. See, yes, yeah, that same one. It's, uh, it's, it's this one here, the first one, but any one you want, right? So that's in there, boom. So now, and if we open up the Enscape, you see it's just regular ground, um, pretty bad texture. Let's just go ahead and go into materials or let's go into our topography. Um, let's pick a material for it. And we're gonna click new grass. We want this one. And uh, let's see how it looks in a render. over here and as you can see you know you get a nice grass texture okay really really nice you see it in Enscape it gives you a really really nice texture and you can manipulate this however you want see you know so you know you have that 
if you look, I'm trying to get really close to it. So if you look like this thin layer, it gives you that image, but it also creates this texture for you, this grass texture. So you get, so you get a really nice realistic look. Um, and if you want to manipulate it any way you want, you want a different color, change the colors here. Um, you want to change sizing and things like that. Just go here, three feet. Apply it, see how it looks. You know, you know, you can mess around with it, make it bigger, make it smaller, make it higher, make it taller, however you want to do it. Um, so that's how I create my grass um, using Revit and Inkscape. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I hope you found it informative and thanks for watching.